the 180 Bow Greaves Golden Edition Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. We got a great video for you today. I'm really excited about this one. However, before we get into the video, I do have to tell you about a couple things. Now, going back, I don't know, about two weeks ago, I reviewed the 180 Bow Greaves World Champion Edition darts, the black and silver ones, and I made a mistake in that video. I said these were 90% tungsten, when in fact, they're 80% tungsten. So my mistake there, I bought these at Dart Shopper, and at the time at Dart Shopper, they were listed as 90% tungsten, so instead of doing proper research like I should have done, I just kind of went with what they said. And you know what? It's my job to find the mistakes like that on the websites. So instead of finding the mistakes, I made the mistake. So again, the World Champion Edition is 80% tungsten, not 90. And the problem has been corrected on the Dart Shopper website as of today. So that's good news. Now for today's video with the Team 180 Bow Greaves Golden Edition darts, Ran into a little bit of a problem here as well. So here's what happened. I ordered them again from Dart Shopper. They showed up incredibly quick shipping. Couldn't ask for anything better there. Reasonable price as well, something like 53, 54 US dollars. So they showed up to my house. I took them out of the box and within about three seconds, this is what I noticed. And I'll just put a video up on the entire screen. Unfortunately, when the machine installed the point into the barrel, the whole entire front end of the barrel blew out so that you can see there's a crack on each side and that crack runs all the way up to about the second multi ring so obviously i was pretty disappointed there i contacted dart shopper and they sprung into action right away customer service they went above and beyond so big shout out to dart shopper thank you very much for resolving this problem what we decided on doing is you know they offered a refund right away they said they could send out another set and better yet, what happened was they contacted 180 and they just decided that they asked if they could send me the black set. So Bow Greaves has a new set coming out. I'll put the picture up on the screen there. It's the Bow Greaves Black Edition. So what they did is they're going to send that set out as a replacement for this crack set. And uh, it's going to be nice. We'll be able to do a trifecta of Bow Greaves darts reviews. So we have that set coming. Look for a review there soon. So it was just really nice to see the uh, customer service from Dart Shopper as well as 180. Just go above and beyond. They acted right away, resolved the problem. You know, no, it was as simple as could be. Nice to see customer service like that because as some of you know, I had a problem with Target darts probably about a month ago, the Target cult darts. And they pretty much just did the bare minimum. They really couldn't even be bothered with me. So that just goes to show you there's sometimes a difference in customer service. Again, well done to Dart Shopper and 180. I appreciate that very much. So with that being said, let's just hop right into the rest of the video. I think you guys know how it goes. We'll take a close up look. Oh, and you know what? We're actually pretty much gonna turn this video into a comparison video. Which ones should you buy? So that's what this video is gonna be about. And um, it should be interesting. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. Here we go. Okay, so I think the rest of this video is pretty much gonna be a comparison between the gold 90% tungsten version that I'm reviewing today and the 80% tungsten version that I reviewed just a couple weeks ago. Now, from a collector's point of view, I much prefer the packaging of the 80% tungsten. I mean, you've got her picture, you've got the world champion, you've got her name here, and look at this. You've got her name on the side of the packaging, whereas the 90% tungsten version, it's just pretty generic, isn't it? I mean, you've got her name here, but it's just an added cardboard piece. So yeah, the packaging on this version, much, much better in my opinion. And these ones come with these signature Bow Greaves flights, whereas these just a generic set of 180 flights. So there you go. But as far as the player in me, I much prefer the 90% tungsten version. It's a little bit shorter. And um, yeah, I just prefer this grip pattern a lot, lot more compared to these ones. So yeah, the player in me likes the gold ones. The collector in me would definitely go for the 80% tungsten version. But let's get a closer look and I'll run down the stats and dimensions on the 90% tungsten version. Alrighty, there we go. Nice close up look at the darts here. And I'll tell you what, I love this gold coating with the black back end. I think it matches really well. The silver points don't quite go as well. It'd be nice to see some black points there, but you know what? Easy enough to switch those out if you so desire. So we've got the cracked barrel. 
right there in the middle. But like I said in the intro, I'm not worried about it. 180 as well as Dart Shopper went above and beyond. We have a set of Bow Greaves darts that haven't even been released yet on the way to my house. So that review will be coming as soon as they get here. So right now, some stats and dimensions. We got some 32 millimeter silver points up front. Like I said, not a fan of silver points. I would switch those out immediately. But, um, you know, they do the job, I guess, if you scuff them up. So the barrels themselves, these ones actually are 90% tungsten barrels. The barrel length coming in at 50.9 millimeters long, so a bit shorter than the ones I reviewed a couple weeks ago. The barrel width, same, 6.35 millimeters wide, so the same as the other ones I reviewed. I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are drilled out 14.3 millimeters deep in the back end. Now the match weighting, really good on these things. They're advertised as 21 grams. The first one, a little bit light, but 20.97. 20.97 in the third barrel, spot on 21.00 grams. So only three one hundredths of a gram off. Excellent match weighting, which makes me even a little more disappointed about the crack because this is such an amazing set of darts. But again, not to worry. We've got her new black coated version on the way. But let's get a little bit closer look. And I'm going to compare the grip of these to her 80% tungsten darts. Okay, let's look at these things side by side really quick. And hopefully many of you have seen the first review video that I did on the silver ones. And you'll know that I gave them a very mild grip level. I think it was like a level 2.1 on a scale of 1 to 5. Now, as you're looking at these things through the camera right now, which would you guess is a more grippy barrel? Like if I'm looking through the camera, which I am right now, I would guess that the ones on top are more grippy. I don't know. They just they look more grippy. And you know what? I'd be wrong because these ones on the bottom are definitely more grippy. It's not even close. And I'll get to that in just a second, but let's compare the two barrels. I mean, they're pretty much identical on the front end, right? I mean, they are identical. What they did, instead of having all these fat multi-rings like you see on the 90% tungsten version, what they did on top was just add the twin ring grip. So they made an extra cut on each of the fat multi-rings there and created a twin ring grip out of the fat multi-rings. But front end, almost identical. Back end, as you can see, a little bit different there. In these um, tiny multi-rings, these two sections, much more grippy on this dart. But there's the comparison. Now let me tell you about the grip on these things. For whatever reason, yeah, the front end is definitely more sharp. You can just feel these multi-rings a lot more. And these little micro multi-rings, definitely more sharp. They kind of dig into my fingertips. Yeah, they're sharp. I'm going to go ahead and say grip level 2.6 on these ones. And I don't think the coating comes into effect. It doesn't play a difference there. The coating, it might make the dart feel a little bit warmer, but I don't think it really adds to the grip. So there you go, level 2.6 on a scale of 1 to 5. But we say we get these things on the board. I'm going to throw them just like you see them. And hopefully, I mean, I don't think this, where's that cracked one? Let me show you that real quick. There it is. So there's the cracked barrel. I mean, that's a nice crack, isn't it? It's cracked on that side as well as that side. I mean, look at that. It runs right up into the first multi-ring. Oh, no, it goes right up into the second multi-ring, if you can see real close. Wow. So, yeah, I don't know what sort of defect that was, but, hey, it happens. And like I said, 180 is taking care of it. So, yeah, that's quite the crack. Holy crap. You got to love that transition, though. I mean, well, that's not a good example. Let me show you the transition here. Perfect transition from point to barrel that 180 is known for. So that's nice. You don't have to use specialty points. But really, really nice set of darts. Can't wait to the um, until the black ones get here. Those will be nice to review. But let's get these things on the board. I'll give them a try, and hopefully that barrel stays intact. Here we go. Okay, guys, i got to switch things up tonight. I had a back injury a couple days ago, and it's really, really bad tonight. So... Um, I'm just going to take it easy. We'll keep the comparison going. So we've got the golden darts. We'll have the black flights stock, completely stock, as you saw in the review. Her silver edition, world champion edition, has the condor neons. And I'll just like I said, I'll just compare the two as we go. But definitely the, the biggest difference is the grip. I just can't believe how much more grippy these gold ones are. It's day and night difference, that's for sure. Yeah, these, the silver ones almost feel slick. I've got
got no power in my throw. I can't twist. Or it hurts when I twist. You know, now that I think about it, the um, her golden version, really similar to the uh, Adrian Lewis darts, right? The whole entire front end. I mean, they're they're pretty close. Man, they throw nice. I think the golden version is definitely an easier dart to throw. Ah, that was almost a 180. 19s. Yeah, these things feel slippery in comparison. Ooh. Hey, not too bad though, right? For an injury. Yeah, with the, uh, the silver version, they were over 54 millimeters long. These are a more reasonable length. I think the website said 50.8, but for whatever reason, I triple checked. Mine were 50.9 millimeters, so that's a pretty common length. Ridiculously easy to throw. They offer a lot of grip. You could even grip on the back end for the uh, micro multi rings. It's going to work well. Just a great, great set of darts. Wow, look at that. Right down. What? Oh, hey, back to back 140s with those things. We'll go at the bullseye. Oh. 19 for cover. Hey, can we count that? Third dart saver? Even though we're not reviewing these ones. Oh. All right, we'll do one more. And you know, it's funny too. These vice stems, if you saw in the last video, the flights popped off. Actually, the 180 that I managed to hit for you, I think the flight popped off. So I told myself for this part of the video, I had a set of stems and flights ready to go because if a flight pops off, there's no way I can bend over and pick it up in time. So I've got that one ready to go. But last throw here. Yeah, insanely nice start to throw. These things feel incredible. They really do. They come off the fingertips clean. You know that gold, the, unreal. The gold coating makes it feel a little bit warmer to the touch. Can we get three 140s with these? Ah, now for the slippery darts. There we go, one, two, ah, almost. Oh, not even close. So yeah, I'm going to talk about this here in a second when I give these things a rating, but as far as a player set of darts, I much prefer the golden darts over the silver darts, and it's not even close. I mean, these things are so, so nice, just perfect dimensions. So um, I guess that's about it for the video. Let's roll into the 180. I did manage to hit a 180, and then I'll give these things a rating. That's going to be it for the video. So hope you enjoyed it so far. Enjoy the last clip. Flight off once again. My back's killing me. I'm not going to bend down and pick that up. So, hey, there you go, guys. Great place to end the video. If you enjoyed it so far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation on how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. And I think you guys know, they're perfect dimensions. They come in 21, 23 grams. Um, yeah, perfect length, perfect width, and it's just a great barrel shape. It's gonna work well for most players. And best of all, I think for a pro player dart, it's reasonably priced. I mean, for, especially for someone as popular as Bo Greaves. So, as far as a rating goes, I'm gonna give them 9.2 on a scale of one to 10. I think it's gonna work well for most players. However, I think the bigger question is, which, which ones do you buy? Do you buy the golden version? Do you buy, how about the black version coming up? Or the silver world champion edition version? They're all fairly similarly priced. So which ones do you buy? Collector, do you buy these with the nicer packaging? Do you buy these as a dark player with the 90% um, tungsten, a little bit better barrel shaped? And these are actually 
The golden version is what she actually uses, although her barrels are silver. So which ones would you buy, to be honest? I don't know. I think for a collector, I'd almost go with a World Champion Edition packaging. But as a player, I would definitely go with the golden ones. Let me know what you think. If they were all the same price, which they pretty much are, which ones would you buy, silver or gold? Let me know down below in the comment section. And I guess that's it for the video. So until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next video. Later. Why you think they call me Mr. Worldwide? Let's show them why you call me.